There are so many great weapons this season, like a new best in slot shotgun, a scout rifle that creates ignitions every two seconds, and so much more. So here are my 17 must have weapons for Season of the Wish. I'm Marshix, and first up is Scatter Signal. This is a strand fusion rifle, so it's different from Riptide, and it's a rapid fire frame, so it's not a piece of trash. It gets enhanced overflow for a huge magazine, and enhanced controlled burst to speed up the fire rate even further, and increase its damage too, making it deal some really high damage for a special weapon. It can also take advantage of so many strand perks this season, so it's kinda busted. Riptide. This is the same as Scatter Signal, but Stasis, and it gets Chill Clip. This will slow and freeze enemies hit by it, meaning it's really good for controlling the flow of combat and a good tool for stunning overload and unstoppable champions. The new rocket sidearm is really strong, specifically against champions. Indebted Kindness takes special ammo, so it deals way more damage than the average sidearm. Because of this, against barrier champions, this will only take one shot to pop their shield, in any difficulty, instantly. No other weapon in the game can do that, at least not all the time. Actually, maybe Arbalist, but that's an exotic, it doesn't count. It also gets Vault Shot for some crazy ad clear and lead from gold so you can run double specials and always have ammo. And if you are using double specials, a weapon you can run with this is Appetence. This is one of only two legendary trace rifles in the kinetic slot, and man is it good. This gets Killing Tally for a 30% damage buff after three kills, and you can pair that with Overflow to not only double the magazine size, but also keep killing tally 100% of the time since you never have to reload. Another similar weapon is Incisor. This is the Strand Trace Rifle with killing tally and subsistence. As long as you get kills with this weapon, you get a semi-permanent 30% damage buff and never have to reload. Both of these are great options, but you only really need one. And let's be honest, Appetence is craftable with enhanced perks, and you don't have to torture yourself in trials to get it. Polaris Lance. This has perfect fifth. Get four precision shots and your fifth will create an explosion that applies scorch. Not quite enough for an ignition, but this has become one of the best exotics this season thanks to a few artifact mods. Flint Striker makes you radiant with rapid precision hits, which you're going to be doing constantly with Polaris, and Kindling Trigger which makes Polaris land scorch targets while radiant. If you use both of these alongside Ember of Ashes to apply more scorch stacks, every single perfect fifth shot will create an ignition and this will deal a ton of damage and stagger the enemy over and over and over, with every single perfect fifth shot. This enables some really powerful solar builds, and you can use this to destroy basically everything in Grandmaster Nightfalls, even champions. Also, this has infinite ammo. There's a new grenade launcher in town, and it's competing for the top spot. Undercurrent. This is the new Nightfall waveframe grenade launcher, and it gets Volt Shot. Since you have to reload after every shot anyway, you can use this to wipe out dozens of enemies with each shot, making it one of the best ad clearing special weapons in the game, and it works with arc subclass fragments too. Pair this with something like Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, or even Ambitious Assassin, and you'll have yourself one of the best grenade launchers in the game. The only thing that tops it is a crafted forbearance with chain reaction, but only by a little. If you already have a forbearance, you can ignore undercurrent, but if you don't feel like running an old raid every week for 5 weeks, Undercurrent is almost a direct replacement. Crux Termination. This rocket launcher is surprisingly good, and you probably deleted multiple god rolls. Think of every good rocket launcher perk, and this has it. Clown Cartridge for double rockets, Reconstruction for double rockets, Envious Assassin for triple rockets, Slide Shot to never reload, Explosive Light for easy damage, and even Surrounded, which might sound stupid on a rocket, but this is a 40% damage buff that will be permanently active in certain encounters. Most notably, the Warlord's Ruined Final Boss. Yes, all the eyes count as enemies for Surrounded, so you'll always have it. Unfortunately, this is just a random world drop, so you have to keep an eye out for it. Speaking of Warlord's Ruin, this has an exotic sidearm that is nuts. Buried Bloodline is another special ammo sidearm, but this gives you Devour from multi-kills. And even though Devour got nerfed, it's still OP. In addition to the constant healing and tons of grenade energy, this also has a catalyst that weakens all enemies hit by it. This is a 15% debuff that also triggers Void subclass abilities like Stylish Executioner, so you can turn invisible after every kill. This is definitely a must-have exotic for Devour Warlocks and Invis Hunters, and anyone who disagrees can cry about it in the comments. 
Apex Predator. This is one of the best rockets in the game, if not the best. This has reconstruction to hold two rockets at a time, and it gets bait and switch, one of the highest damage buffs in the game at 35%. On top of that, it can take advantage of Argent Ordnance, another damage buff that stacks with everything else in the game. You've probably used Kallus Mini Tool and the Akelos SMG in the past, and you already know how good they are. But what if I said there was a new SMG that combines the two? Subjunctive. This is a 900 RPM SMG like Kallus Mini Tool, it gets Volt Shot like the Akelos SMG, and its other best perk is Threat Detector, like Kallus Mini Tool. Long story short, Kallus Mini Tool is amazing with Incandescent, probably the best solar SMG right now. And if you enjoy the feel of Callus Mini Tool and you want one with Vault Shot, try out Subjunctive. It'll surprise you. Vex Mythoclast. This just got a massive buff that increased its damage by a lot. This is a primary fusion rifle. Kills give stacks of overcharge. At 6 stacks, you can convert it into a linear fusion rifle for 3 shots. These deal a lot of damage, especially to champions. And because this is a fusion rifle, it works with Reign of Fire to make you radiant after every kill which is a really good build this season. Vex Mythoclast is a raid exotic, so it's a little bit hard to get, but a good replacement is Amit with Incandescent. You get the crafted version of this for free through a quest, and since auto rifles also just got a 10% buff, they feel really good this season. Season of the Wish brought us a new best in slot shotgun called Super Cluster. The previous best slug shotgun was either a reconstruction plus recombination heritage, or a triple tap plus surrounded no reprieve. Well, Super Cluster is both of these, but better. You can get Reconstruction for double the magazine size, and Vorpal for a passive 15% damage buff against bosses. Or, fourth times the charm for a better version of triple tap, and surrounded for a 40% damage buff, 47% if it's crafted. Or, any other combination of these perks, it's whatever you like the best. This weapon is really good for double slug hot swapping, all you have to do is use this with Nessa's Oblation, perform a little bit of black magic, and you can do this. This next weapon might make me sound a little bit stupid, but let me explain myself. Marcado 45. This random strand machine gun gets Demolitionist and Hatchling. Demolitionist will give you grenades back in only a few kills, and Hatchling can be used for a variety of strand builds. And if you're a warlock who uses swarmers, this is a must have for that build. You can create tons of threadlings with your grenades and your machine gun, and then your machine gun gives you more grenades so you can create more threadlings and it's just a really good cycle. Unless you absolutely need a heavy weapon for DPS, in which case you can't really use it, but when you can use it, it's a game changer. Wish Ender. If you play Nightfalls or any activity with barrier champions, Wish Ender is amazing. This has anti-barrier, wall hacks, yes wall hacks, and it deals 3 times more damage than any other bow. Heck, it does more damage than most special weapons. There's not much more to it, just use it and thank me in the comments. Sunshot. This is one of the best ad clearing weapons in the game. Kills with this weapon create a solar explosion that can chain to nearby enemies. One shot can usually get multiple kills. And just like Polaris Lance, this can benefit from all the insane artifact mods this season. Because of this, it is a must have for many solar builds like Precious Scars, Karnstein, and Verity's Brow. And even though it is that good, it's still one tier below Trinity Ghoul, the king of ad clear. Get a kill with it to gain Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod creates chain lightning that kills everything. Assuming you get a kill with Lightning Rod, you get it again, and again, and again, and then everything's dead. You do need the catalyst for it to be good though. Dragon's Breath. This exotic rocket launcher can deal a ton of damage to bosses. This weapon runs off fuel. The more fuel you have, the more damage you deal. And this deals damage over time, similar to Wither Horde or Anarchy. Which means you can pair this with a good special weapon like Scatter Signal and absolutely melt bosses. Just shoot it once, DPS with your special, and when the fuel is full, swap back and hit it again. There's also a way to use this weapon to create tons of ignitions, never reload, and spam your abilities. But you'll have to watch this video to see how. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.